Hello and welcome! My name is Luigi from Bluestacks and today I'll talk about Overheat, an RPG gacha game. This game contains hundreds of heroes, an engaging RPG system and also, of course, a word to say. And it is all built in the Real 4 engine, so you get to look at pretty visuals while being the hero. And there are so many things to do in this game that at first glance it might seem overwhelming. I mean, collecting 400 heroes, upgrading your equipment, leveling up your heroes, progressing through the campaign, it all of that sounds like a lot of work, in that case you might be right. And unless you know some shortcuts, gaining enough knowledge about the game mechanics of Overheat will take a too long time. But don't worry, that's what I'm here for. And with the tips I'm about to present, you can save the world much easier and faster. So without any further ado, Let's jump right in! As you can guess, it might be hard to track all of the heroes and features of the game. For example, which hero can equip which weapons, what kind of special abilities a hero has, and what happens in the main story so far. Luckily, Overheat has a special option on its drop-down menu, the guide. And the guide will answer all of those questions and much more. Use it especially for gaining knowledge about specific heroes and by the ones that suit the needs of your party the most. If you cannot find what you're looking for by making free summons, there's a guaranteed way of getting a SSR level hero. And that is crafting a ticket. You can literally craft an SSR hero summon ticket and gain a powerful hero. The result will still be random but the summoning hero will be a guaranteed SSR. And the best part, you can do this all for free. All you need is at least 10 light of talent shards to craft a single summon ticket. These shards can be obtained from the guide missions. So if you want to add new powerful heroes to your team, that's the way to go. But now, how do we know if the hero we just got is really worth it? And that brings us to the next step. If you are not sure which hero you should focus, using the play review might be of great help. It is possible to write a review about every single hero in the game, and also you can rate him or her. To do so, open the profile page of the hero and click on the hero review button. And as a general rule, I consider using any hero that scored more than 4.5 points. And surprisingly, especially for a game on the internet, most of the reviews are honest and very helpful and the community is very mature on this regard. So most of the time, you can actually trust them. And also, if you want to contribute, you can also post your own review. But now, on the next step, let's see how to put those heroes together. There's a very specific reason why this game is called Overheat. If you link the right heroes and put them on the same team, you either get access to a very powerful ability called Overheat, of course, or additional bonuses. For example, putting Francesca and Ophelia on the same team will give you a special ability called Hammer of Judgment. Or you can link Sun and Gleek together and gain an additional 20 attack power. And there's a lot of combinations that can be formed and some of them are pretty useful. And there are two ways of finding the link combination. You can either click on the same name button at the hero profile page or you can use the good old guide I've mentioned before. Like all of the other gacha games, you can use the mouse to play overheat. And honestly, no other control scheme is really needed. All you'll be doing is clicking on buttons and honestly, your mouse is the best tool you can use. But, on the other hand, adding keyboard shortcuts to your battle skills might be a good idea, since you'll be able to activate them much faster. In fact, you can add a keyboard key to any function in the game. And all that thanks to the tap spot feature. To do that, click on the keyboard icon, then on edit, and then open the advanced key map tool. Next, find the option that say tap spot and start dragging and dropping those spots on top of the actions buttons. Once you assign a key to each of them, you can press the same key to activate the related function. And simply as that, now you can use all your skills left and right on your keyboard, without having any problem. 
with the chips I presented, I'm sure that in no time you have the best heroes on the best thing possible. And of course, using blue stacks will be the best thing you can possibly do in this game because of all those awesome features that can make your farming much easier. And also having access to the big screen, being able to play on the keyboard and mouse with awesome, stunning graphics. Especially for a game like that, that runs on the real 4 engine. But that's it for now, and good luck saving the world of Overheat. Thank you very much for watching, see you next time, bye bye!